China has broken more EV records. EV sales globally have hit 7.2 million in 2025 already. Now remember, last year was only 10 million. So EV sales have grown spectacularly so far this year. Hello, my friends. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. For those of you interested, I have just posted an interview with the CEO of Rethink X, now Navigate X. We're talking about the team behind Tony Sieber. We're talking about the guy who has helped Tony Sieber form many of his ideas and his predictions. I interviewed him on robots, on the future, on what's going to happen to all of us, how the world is going to be completely changed. And that interview is in the members section on the channel. So if you click on the link in the description, you can become a member and that does help me support the channel. Hey guys, I've got a, a, an EcoFlow Delta 2 right here and the Delta Pro, which is about four times bigger than this. I've used them over the past two months many times. I didn't think I would, but I've needed them. There's been electrical problems in the house. There's been uh, massive storms here in Australia. They've been absolutely, for me, game-changing, life-saving, up to 45% off sale. I'll put a link in the description, and I think that's on for the next three weeks. So click on that link. You can take advantage and get one of these batteries for a really good price. Global EV sales surged in May 2026, hitting 1.6 million units sold, according to the latest data from EV Research House, Row Motion. That means the total this year so far is 7.2 million, a 28% increase compared to the same period in 2024. Funny isn't how we're not, we're hearing a lot less of this ridiculous media narrative that EV sales have gone down and that, that electric cars are slowing, sales are way below expectations, slowing, rah, 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 because it's all complete nonsense. And really, more and more of most countries around the world, more and more of their sales of cars have been EVs, drastically more. The big winner is China. But remember, there's actually other countries, many countries around the world growing even faster than China are. If you exclude China, Europe, and the United States from the numbers, the rest of the world's EV sales have grown even faster than these numbers. But China did, well, they've done pretty damn well. In fact, they sold a record-breaking 1 million EVs in May alone. That's a 33% jump year over year and a 10% increase just compared to the previous month. In addition, more than 50% of the cars sold in China in May were electric. The rest of the world, well, they did pretty damn well, except for North America. Uh, yeah, obviously incentives have been cancelled now in the US, so that's going to be a problem for America. I think America's going to kind of fall into a bit of a dark ages when it comes to not just EVs, but also energy. Your energy system, it's kind of uh, being manipulated by these big players, unfortunately. Road Motion's Charles Lester said this, the story this month with global electric vehicle sales is the continued chasm between Chinese market growth, which saw 1 million vehicles sold in May versus the faltering market in North America. Europe held steady with help from Spain and Italy. Europe is up 27% year to date with 1.6 million EVs sold from January through May. Countries like Germany up 45% so far this year, and the UK up 32% are helping crush internal combustion. Um, isn't that awesome? Germany, well done. Germany up 45%. The UK plus 32%. These numbers are awesome. Southern Europe as well. Spain, 72%. 72% growth. This is not a, a, a fake statistic. This is 100% real. Italy, 58%. Things are drastically changing. Germany rolled out a new set of EV incentives, focusing on commercial fleets. That's happening. Corporate vehicles making up more than half the German auto market mean that that's going to supercharge EV sales for the rest of this year in Germany. North America, though, not a, not a great number. The US, Canada, and Mexico, only 3% growth year to date. Mostly because of Canada's pause on EV subsidies, apparently, which caused a steep 20% sales drop. So, yeah, well done, Canada, or not well done. The US, well, only 4% growth, helped by the federal EV tax credit. And there's so many good EVs you can buy in America, but the truth is your EV sales would grow a lot faster if you had access to all the 
Chinese electric cars, which you know many countries now can buy. Unfortunately, EV credits will start phasing out in 2026 and will disappear entirely by 2027 if Republicans don't decide to get rid of them even, well, now or sooner, which could happen. China is dominating though, obviously. In May, it was the first country this year to break the 1 million EVs sold in a month mark. It first hit that level in August 2024. So it's actually on track to substantially increase its sales of EVs this year. The reason being, in China, of course, as you know, the second half of the year is when cars get sold. You know, the automotive industry kind of goes to sleep a little bit for the first five months of the year. And then the last six, seven months of the year, it goes crazy there. When I say crazy, I mean 32 million cars are sold in China every year. That's about 35% of the entire global car market. Chinese automakers aren't slowing down. BYD is growing in Europe and it's slashing prices in China, which is causing mayhem. New EVs, new plug-in hybrids, they bring out a new model every second week. It's a little budget EV, the Dolphin Surf, the Seagull, it's called in China, but it's a bigger version of the Seagull. They're selling that in Europe now. It's, to be honest, not all that affordable. It starts at around 23,000 euros, but you know, it is subject to the EU's tariffs. Hybrids don't though. So plug-in hybrids are going to go from Chinese automakers. Their sales are skyrocketing because they don't get tariffed. Anyway, looking at the sales here, this is a breakdown. Globally, 7.2 million, up 28%. Imagine if the US was up 28%. These numbers would be up probably 35, 36, 37, 38%. But the US and Canada is really kind of letting down the rest of the world. I mean, it's strange to say that, but it's true. China, up 33%. 4.4 million. Europe up 1.6 million, so plus 27%. North America plus 3%, 0.7 million. And the rest of the world, 0.6 million plus 36%. So it really kind of illustrates the point that the rest of the world that's not, right, that's not Europe, that's not North America, they're killing it up 36%. A lot of people thought to themselves, well, and I've received a lot of comments on the channel, very, very critical. Oh, Africa, they're never going to buy EVs. Indonesia, they're never going to buy EVs. Oh, the Philippines, they're never going to buy EVs. What are you talking about? This is ridiculous. But that kind of ignores the reality, which is this. As EV battery prices continue to fall, and they will, sodium batteries are going to bring the price down. I mean, Tony Sieber is saying that sodium batteries are going to cost eventually, within probably five to seven years, around $10 per kilowatt hour. To give you some context, batteries now are around $55 per kilowatt hour, lithium ion phosphate. They're the cheapest batteries, 55. He's saying sodium will bring the price down to $10. That'll mean that it'll be probably 30 to 40% cheaper to make an EV than an internal combustion car. So you're telling me in all these countries where people are, you know, uh, money really matters to them and they have to really think, where am I going to put my money? Because I have very little of it. They're going to go and buy an internal combustion car, which they have to put petrol and diesel in, yeah? Even though they have very limited funds when an EV is going to be cheaper, it's not happening. And as you can see, the numbers prove that, right? The rest of the world, up 36%. So China, killing it. Rest of the world, killing it. North America. What is going on in North America? If you're from North America, let us know in the comments because I don't understand it. You guys do have some great EVs on sale there. And I just did a video on all the discounts being offered right now. Some amazing discounts. You don't have to buy internal combustion. It's not about price anymore. It's just about choice.